Okay, so what had happened was... Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. If you're interested in my thoughts on the new Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I know I'm not the only one that got hounded by Sephora with that 20% off they were doing. So what had happened was mm, they got me. That's really all I can say. Sephora got me. They hounded me down. Um, I'm sure they hounded some of y'all down. They like 12 notifications later, I'm like, all right maybe you know i could stand by one more perfume and lo and behold that's what i did so i picked up the new flower bomb ruby orchid and yeah so for some reason i had amnesia when um doing the order for this and it didn't dawn on me until i got a comment from ct um about the longevity and that's when it dawned on me that's why i never went back and bought a full-size bottle to flower bomb or flower bomb nectar because i have travel sprays right here and um i do have flower bomb bloom but that one's almost empty so i'm only gonna spray that when i'm actually gonna wear it with body care but it dawned on me why i haven't bought full-size bottles of these or bonbon like they don't last and um even though i did i just got ruby orchid today um i waited to take my shower because i was stalking the ups truck so i was like it's coming today i'm gonna wear it today so i'm gonna plan my day around it it came like in the mid afternoon so i had to wait all day before i could do my whole little shower routine but i wore it and it was like deja vu i'm like this is why I didn't buy full-size bottles of the other. Don't get me wrong. I love the scent of this new Ruby Orchid. It's just, it's like, now you see it, now you don't. First, let me pull out the little bottle I have here. So here's the bottle, beautiful pinky magenta color. And I picked up a one ounce and I have fragrance cup on my computer over here. So in the top we have peach and vine, in the middle is orchid, and in the base is vanilla bean. Now I am a sucker personally for peach scents. I love a good peach scent. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, I feel like I have to try it at least. And I probably would have preferred to have bought this in the travel spray but this was the only thing that popped up as available on sephora so i just went ahead and bit the bullet now i have sprayed this a plethora of times already today because it, it does like have that disappearing thing but i honestly really do like the scent so um at first i was like well maybe i should just return it since i'm having a struggle with it lasting for me but i don't think i'm gonna return it i think i'm just gonna overspray like i always overspray anyway so that's just my own opinion um i do think that it does have that same flower bomb dna if you're familiar with how flower bomb smells it does smell similar to that but it's missing the patchouli so it is like toned down in that aspect if the patchouli was an issue for you but for me i smell like peachy kind of vanilla vibes when i um have been wearing this today and i think of all the flower bomb scents that i've smelled this is by far my favorite and in the event you're familiar with my channel and are wondering the body care i paired with this I'm gonna call this a wild card option because um, I mixed together Pink Chiffon from Bath & Body Works with Hope. Um, this is Winter Peach Marshmallow. And Hope 
the winter peach marshmallow will be an obvious choice because it's a peachy scent it's like soft peachy vanilla so it would be perfect to go with this flower bomb ruby orchid on its own so if you have this and you are interested in ruby orchid despite how it performs this is definitely a safer option for body care but i threw in the pink chiffon because it has all the same notes so let me pull it up on Fragrantica because I have it right here in front of me. So just remember, this has peach, vine, orchid, and vanilla. And in pink chiffon from Bath & Body Works, this has wild berries, pear, peach, and mandarin orange in the top. And the middle is apple blossom, tiara flower, jasmine, and water lily. And then the base is vanilla, coconut, orchid musk heliotrope and sandalwood so it has pretty much all of the same notes that are in flower bomb ruby orchid so upon smelling it it's kind of bubble gummy so i didn't initially pair the two together but honestly i'm not even gonna hold y'all listen these two lotions together for me it was like bomb i was so shocked and if you didn't look on Fragrantica like me, like I had no idea there was a peach note in Pink Chiffon because to me it just smells like um, a lighter, sweet kind of pear-ish, pear vanilla kind of scent. But together, I really did enjoy layering these two lotions. It's still, it's a wild card, but I liked it. So I'm just gonna throw that out there in the event you have these and are interested in trying it out either with or without um, a perfume. So now I have some um, cards here so I can spray again and it's like a bright, sweet, bright's probably not the correct word because it does have that flower bomb DNA, but it's sweet and I just really do like the scent. So um, next I'm gonna spray Flower Bomb Nectar because I feel like it smells most like Flower Bomb Nectar. Um, it's slightly lighter than Flower Bomb Nectar and I feel like that's because there is no patchouli in Ruby Orchid. They still smell pretty close. I just think that Flower Bomb Nectar is a little more deep, but not a whole ton. Like if you are like not familiar at all, you might think that they smell pretty much alike. But I do feel like um, Ruby Orchid is a little more light than Flower Bomb Nectar. So all in all, I do like Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. I don't like the performance. I do like the smell. So do with that what you will. Do you need this if you already have um, Flower Bomb like Nectar? Probably not unless you are like obsessed with the Flower Bomb line and want to have all the Flower Bombs in your collection or if you're like a huge Victor and Rolf fan, then you know, sure go out and get it but um if you're like searching for perfumes based on how you know you want it to perform well especially you want to make sure you're getting your money's worth then i will probably skip over this for that reason but i mean i like the smell and i'm not gonna return it i'm just going i'm just gonna keep spraying it so that concludes my kind of first impressions, if you will, of um, Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video.